when you're listening. Look, just help me survive this and I'm all yours. Oh, yes, an evening out at the advice centre with your mother. Won't my friends be jealous? It's the 10th anniversary of her bossing the community. Well, you <laughs> really must let me take you out sometime. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can bore on about your problem for hours after this is over. Anyway, put yourself in my shoes. She's got some guy she wants me to meet. <laughs> he works there. Ah, the caring male. Non-carnivore, non-sexist, non-masculine in any way, seeks <laughs> crazy blonde. Keen on eating out, eating in and lying down. <laughs> <laughs> He's called Stephen. He's the new head of resources. Hey ho, hey ho. <laughs> Come on. Oh. My mum says... Oh, yeah, the well-known expert on what you like. The girls here think he's very sexy. Yeah, sexy like Terry Waite. <laughs> Steve. My daughter Louise. Hi. Hi. This is... Carla. Maybe you're drooling. <laughs> he's quite a catch. Focus Africa were after him and they're much richer than we are. We're very lucky to have him. I am glad I came. This is fun. <laughs> so, Liz, how did you make it all happen then? <laughs> Hi. 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 Maura Allen from the Gazette. Can I ask you about the centre? Sure. <clears throat> What's your name? Steve. Ryan. Steve, right, Steve. How has the centre helped you? Do you live on a problem estate? Steve. Can we go now? I've got to, you know... <laughs> come on, you said. Listen, right? I told you. Go see the man when I say. Can't you see him, too? But I've left the babies. Is that my problem? <laughs> Don't bug me now, girl. You know what happens if you bug me? Now! What was the question? No, I think I've got enough, actually. Thanks. <laughs> I've only known you five minutes and already I'm out of order. <laughs> Well, I'd better find somebody suited to be deprived with the rest of the press. What about that guy over there? That is the press. <laughs> but look, a few of us are going to a club later. Uh, fancy coming along? Only if she can bring her friend, who she has to talk to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, see you later. Knees together, girls. <laughs> Hey, I'll see you in the morning, maybe. <laughs> right, well, bye then. <laughs> oh, that was great. Could get better. Hey, not too much fun. We're British, remember? <laughs> Cold and reserved. Sometimes I forget. phone number. I know what to do. <laughs> it's nearly 2.30. Dave will have turned the electric blanket off. I'll walk into your car. to your mother's party. I even listened to her so you could chat up Steve. Mm. I then watched you two doing something on the dance floor, though if you call that dancing then I'm Olga Corbett. <laughs> and finally, I stood in a freezing cold car park watching Britain's entry to the Eurovision Snogathon. <laughs> How do you think I've done my bit? I've been offered promotion. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. And he wants to have a baby. With you? <laughs> Look, I really don't need this, Lou. I've got my whole life.
life ahead of me. He's talking about parenthood, not paralysis. Yeah? Well, that's what it feels like. I mean, we both agreed that we had loads of time, years. And suddenly it's, oh, you don't want to leave it too long. Like you flick the channels whilst I was out the room. Hey, I hope you've got your cap under lock and key. You don't want to find it's fallen onto a pin. Dave's not that subtle. He'd probably put his foot through it. <laughs> Look, did he start wanting to impregnate you before or after you mentioned the promotion? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> but he never minded before. I mean, when we started going out together, he didn't say, oh, sorry, actually, I can't have a relationship with you because you're a banker and I'm only a PE teacher. Yeah, but then you were only earning lots more than him, whereas now you'd be earning loads more. <laughs> have a bigger desk, thinner secretary. So why does he just say I am threatened? The way men do. Well, I suppose we'd live on his salary. I don't see other teachers diving in the Cayman Islands. I don't see them driving a BMW. BMW? I mean, barefoot and pregnant and paying the mortgage. He wants it bloody both ways. You didn't say you were going to get a BMW. Well, it comes with a job. <laughs> I mean, what do you want a man for anyway, Lou? They're totally selfish. Look, it's your womb, remember? He can't sublet it during the night. Well, you don't know Dave. <laughs> <laughs> we'll both sleep on it, OK? Yeah, I bloody well will. <laughs> you need to see Steve. Word travels fast. We barely touch tongues. Only um, at the council. They said an hour, so he'd probably be there all day. No, my mother. She's got some vitally important task for me. I'll fetch her for you. Ooh, would you mind the desk a minute? I've just got to... Thrush still playing up. <laughs> Can I help you? Yeah, Steve, please. You want to see him, do you, concerning? It's personal. Well, is he here or not? Not, I'm afraid, any longer. He's working with refugees. What? <laughs> Where? Saigon. <laughs> Little Saigon. It's near Newcastle. <laughs> They're boat people. I've never heard of it. No. Well, they don't want you to. It's been hushed up. They're living in tents along the Tyne. And Steve's gone to help them. What a guy. Still, thanks for popping in. But when will he be back? <sighs> He's got to learn their language, gain their trust. Could be months. I've got to get him a message. Ah, that's the battered men's group coming out. I'd get going if I were you. You don't want to encounter all that loose testosterone. Give me the message, and if he rings in... Tell him to ring Sophie, urgently. So it's got to be plain. You can go out and get some. I'll mind the desk. Thanks, Liz. So what's this important task you've got for me? <laughs> so, how was it last night? You sing him again? Who? Steve, of course. I bet he's ever such a good dancer. Sorry, Mother. Can't talk now. Got to get this place tidied up. He's single, as it happens. Really? Hmm. Wants to settle down, though. Came up in his interview. <laughs> anyway, must let you get on. What, like, settle down, settle down? Do you know what? I think I'll let you finish this. I'm just getting in the way. <laughs> <laughs> so who was she, then? This vision in tie-dye. Did you ask him? <laughs> Press this together hard. She's a thing of the past. Long chucked. A one-time drama student. Ugh. Mind you, it does suggest questionable taste upon the part of Mr Perfect. We all have skeletons in our cupboards. Or well, size eights or whatever she is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, God, if you're going to start citing a person's previous, I'm... Well, just look at Tony. Or Martin, or Rory, or Ben. Or yeah, all right. <laughs> the bloke in Greece you picked up, whose wife was still there in the villa. <laughs> <laughs> he told me he was divorced. How was I supposed to know? Uh -huh. Look for the telltale white mark. There were no telltale white marks. <laughs> or the telltale, we can't go back to mine because my friend's got the moped. So, let's go back to yours and chuck out your friend. <laughs> who then has to walk up and down the beach all night getting bitten to death. I did the same for you. Mine was a lot quicker than yours. <laughs> I still had my bikini on. <laughs> It wasn't my fault. Oh, God, sorry. I just really don't know what to do about Dave's broodiness. Just 
bung him a bunch of mum's leaflets on childhood diseases. The least you can do is hurry up and bonk, Steve, so you can tell me about it. I am not here to bonk people to provide you with vicarious cheap thrills. Well. <laughs> Just for that, I'm going to make him wait a little longer. <laughs> Is there a more uncomfortable way we could do this? No. Nope. Do you want to get that? No. Nope. Right, this is Steve. Please leave a message after this. Are you sure? Nope. The machine does that while I do this. Steve, it's me, Sophie. Listen, you must ring me, OK? I went to your new job, but this awful girl said you were away. I could tell she was lying. I'm going back to Xanadu. I'm pregnant. So, like, ring me, okay? That was Sophie. So I gathered. I haven't seen her for months. I trust your last meeting was fun. <laughs> Thanks for the coffee. It was really. Nice. It's percolated. Evidently. <laughs> Look, I'll have to see her. Then, assuming it's mine, of course, I uh, need to think. Can I call you? Sure. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Times like these, what can you really rely on? New body form Invisible, now with an advanced microgroove system, helps keep everything inside the towel to prevent leaks. So whatever happens, you can rely on body form. We are about to face our greatest threat. They're using our own satellites against us. Our world will suffer its greatest blow. We're being exterminated. And a handful of heroes will mark the day with the greatest battle the world has ever seen. Independence Day. Got a complex about your hair? Get a complex that helps. Every product in the new Gliss conditioning range now contains new hair repair complex. Whatever your hair type, whatever you do to it, the active ingredients in Gliss help leave your hair looking healthy, shiny and smooth. So don't get a complex. Get a complex that helps. New hair repair complex from Gliss. Someone can give you three for the price of two. Who always gives you three for two offers on a wide range of toiletries? Boots. Kellogg's have been making cereals for no less than four generations of Britons since 1922. And we're so proud of what we do, we still put our name on every single box. So remember, if you don't see the Kellogg's name on the box, it isn't Kellogg's in the box. It's not just a baby skin that's soft and vulnerable. Yours is too. Now enriched with a soothing protective ingredient, Johnson's Baby Lotion has a mildness that's clinically proven. Baby soft skin. For baby, for you. Johnson's from the day you were born. Kevin Costner in the world's greatest ever action adventure. Waterworld. Buy the video now. Oh, we are looking sporty this morning. Yes, Catherine wants me to play her brother. She thought he'd benefit from my expertise. <laughs> Hang on a minute. From the look of that racket, you haven't played in years. Yeah, but a real sportsman never loses his touch. <laughs> It was good of you to let him win. That's always been your problem. Generous to a fault. The new Renault Megane. From £9,995 on the road, it talks your language.
Well, I've lost another one. I don't know how I do it, but I do. What happened? One minute, I had him in the palm of my hand, almost literally. <laughs> then, poof! He's gay. <laughs> Stupid ex-girlfriend managed before they split up to get herself pregnant. Got any chocky? <laughs> she doesn't deserve him. He's the best man I've ever met, and he's going back to someone who takes the pill on a recreational basis like fruit gums. <laughs> so he's doing the decent thing? Bastard! <laughs> No, I know, babe. No, nothing is fair. All the best men are taken. As soon as you drive away, there's a parking space. And all bras, no matter how you wash them, go grey. <laughs> <laughs> he said he had to think about it. Huh. You mean he hasn't decided? He'll go back to her. Not necessarily. You should go round there and just... This just... I've taken the promotion. Dave doesn't know. Help me bring him round. What? Just put him off kids, quick. Hello. Hello. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> How's the wonderful new man, then? No. Not run out on you already. Dave! <laughs> his ex-girlfriend's having his baby and he's going back to her. Oh. And, right, mm. they're broke. I thought he just started with Mother Teresa. Dave! <laughs> it's OK. I call her that, too. Uh, yeah, but the salary's crap and he can hardly support himself as it is. Mm. Did you know it costs over £100,000 to bring up a child to 16? Really? Really? Mm. Really? <laughs> well, it's the woman's right to choose, isn't it? And the bloke's to bloody well lump it. That's rich coming from <laughs> you. Carl. What? You know that promotion? What promotion? <laughs> oh! Right, the promotion with more money and status that you don't want me to accept. Yeah. Well, I think you should. But I thought we wanted to get pregnant. Yeah, well, we've got ages yet, haven't we? Oh, I don't know. My eggs are getting stale. Poo. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we talk about it again in a year or two? Oh, if you think so, dear, mm. you know best. Mm. Mm. I changed my mind anyway. It's fun watching you two, though. <laughs> What's your wish, second princess? Not to die a lonely, fat, embittered old bag. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just wait for him. Just go round there and, you know, so what? <laughs> she may be having your baby, but I'm more desperate. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes you, babe. He took you to his flat on the first date. Oh, yeah, not just for sex or anything. <laughs> what have I got that she hasn't? Your periods. <laughs> There. And stake your claim. I can't do it. I'm not running after him. Go away. <laughs> you. You're at the centre. You're seeing him, aren't you? Oh, me! Look, there's something I need to say to you. Listen, if you and Steve want to get back together, who am I to stand in your way? Oh. <laughs> Look, OK, I don't love Steve and he doesn't love me. And I want to bring up time. Time as in waits for no man? It's a herb. <laughs> on my own. Well, not really on my own. You've got someone else. Xanadu, it's this, like, house, community, quite near here. They're really, like, OK. And Steve thinks they're, like, mad hippies or something. Look, Steve's great. He makes most of my men look like bacteria, but... kids need those little extras in life, like a dad. Yeah, I thought of that. But, like, my father was away practically the whole time I was growing up, and I'm completely fine. <laughs> he can visit. 
But no way am I living with him again. I couldn't handle it the first time. He was always going on at me about turn the gas off, turn the bath off, lock the door when you go out. Every time. Everyone has their quirks. Me, I'm a stickler for paying the mortgage. Lucky we don't share a flat. <laughs> so why ring? Why tell him at all? Well, number one, he's nearby, so it'd be really embarrassing. And number two? Well, we did this play at college about this girl who's having a baby, but they're not married, and so she never tells him. And then she gets killed on the Titanic, which is like this boat. And afterwards, he finds out from the priest. And he's, like, really upset. Sophie. <laughs> you need help. <laughs> Go back to a woman you don't love, to have a child you don't want. Is that doing the right thing? It's not shirking my responsibilities. One little sperm. But it had my address on the back. Steve, have you given any thought to what she wants? She doesn't know what she wants. What about what the child wants? Oh! Children of single mothers are deprived. Is that what you tell your clients at the centre? Is that what you tell my mother? But Liz is one in a million. <laughs> She balanced the needs of her child with her commitment to society. She is endlessly giving and resourceful. She told you this. <laughs> Other women need support. Sophie hasn't got a clue. Do you know she's only ever had money? How awful. <laughs> no parenting. Steve, forget the baby. Can you see yourself living with Sophie and ten other flakies? <laughs> sharing their bean sprouts? Sharing their bath water. <laughs> I mean, you said yourself she won't leave, and if she's that determined... You're right. You're a realist. But then you're your mother's daughter. <laughs> I can't stick around to see my kid being bought up by space cadets. I'm gonna take the other job. Other job? Focus Africa. They offered it to me, but I'd already accepted your mum. Development consultant. House, car, 35 grand tax-free. Not such a bad deal when you think about it. Tax-free? How did you manage that? It's in Tanzania. <laughs> but there's some very important work to be done there. I'll miss you. But what about the important work to be done here? Everyone's always fussing about Africa. What about Tottenham? <laughs> These are your people, Steve. <laughs> you really care about the issues, don't you? <laughs> you are so special, do you know that? Right now, I feel so close to you. We could get closer. <laughs> I couldn't. No, I'm leaving. Are you sure? I think I could. Can we just say we're friends? No. <laughs> I really liked him. I hate him. I hate him. Oh, I know, I know. We've all been there. We have? Of course. <laughs> I was engaged to a boy. He was invited to meet my parents have sandwiches with the crusts cut off. He never turned up. Oh, no. We sat there for two hours. Then my father said, he's obviously got other fish to fry. <laughs> he got up and went into his study and... That was that. <laughs> it was a long time ago. I got over it. <laughs> One does. Look, why don't you wash your face? Mummy will make you a nice cup of tea, huh? I know it's painful, darling, but uh, you'll feel better eventually. You just need some distraction. I know. Why don't you come and help me out for a week or two at the centre till I can find a replacement for Steve? <laughs> Louise! It'll be fun! <laughs>
I think I've found someone to fill in for Steve. <laughs> they want to send me back to Turkey. <laughs> I cannot go back. I have published things against the government. Oh, dear. Still, the weather's a lot nicer than here. <laughs>